I'm just gonna cover the OnlyFans shit, dude, because I'm losing my fucking mind with everyone losing their minds over this. Okay, so I can't read the article. The company will prohibit users from posting any sexually explicit conduct starting October. Creators will still be allowed to post nude photos and videos provided they're consistent with OnlyFans' policy. There you go. So they're saying OnlyFans is gonna, like, stop fucking nudes, nudity, and all this shit, but also saying they will continue doing nudity. So shut up. Just shut the fuck up. Just calm the fuck down. We're still waiting to hear what sexually explicit content will mean to OnlyFans. Most likely it means that what it means for every other platform, they can use this vague catch-all to make their own rules. Here's the full statement from OnlyFans. Nice of them to throw the transparency report in there. Here's that too. Effective 1st, October 2021, OnlyFans will prohibit the posting of any content containing sexually explicit conduct in order to ensure the long-term sustainability of the platform and to continue as a the host and inclusive community for creators and fans. We must evolve our content guidelines. Creators will continue to be allowed to post content well, containing nudity as long as it's consistent with our acceptable use policy. These changes are to comply with the requests of our banking partners and payout providers. We will be sharing more details in the coming days and we will actively support and guide our creators through this change in the content guidelines. We remain dedicated to our community of 130 million users and over 2 million Creators that have earned over $5 billion on our platform. OnlyFans remains committed to the highest levels of safety and content moderation on any social platform. All creators are verified prior to being able to upload any content to OnlyFans. And all uploaded content is checked by automated systems and human moderators. As a part of our commitment to safety and transparency, we're releasing our first monthly transparency report for July 2021. I has to prove has. No, this is not going to be like fucking, uh, this is not going to, I don't think that this is going to be like, uh, uh, Tumblr. I do believe that this is going to, uh, it's the stop revenge porn and child porn. No, that's fucking bullshit. It's not. That's usually what they say, but that's not the reason. The, that's the reason that most people say, uh, uh they want to fucking ban pornography on the internet. But the reality, and, and that's what the basis of Sesta Fasta is, but the reality is that they just don't want fucking sexually explicit content. Sex workers always being shit on SMH. Um, I personally think that, I mean, listen, if they fucking stop, like, you know, I, uh, there's a couple different reasons for why this happens. Hold on. There's a couple different reasons for why this can happen. And uh, the number one reason, of course, is the top of the hour ad break. That's right. I forgot to run it. So I'm going to run it now. So the top of the hour ad break is a 60 second ad break that I run at the top of every hour. I'm so tired of the internet. Contractual obligation. But if you want to add free broadcasting experience, you can subscribe. You can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. If you already have an Amazon Prime account. Okay. Or you can use an ad block. If there is one that works on Twitch still. Or a VPN. Okay. And uh, here's the one minute ad break now. So. The number one reason why. The number one reason why they have this. Uh, why they can get away with doing this shit is because nobody gives a fuck about sex workers. They just literally don't care. Have Amaranth on to talk about why they fucked up. Amaranth probably abides by these restrictions. Amaranth's content, I assume, is completely in line with this level of moderation. I've talked to her before, like, uh, about some of this stuff, and uh, I don't think she does, like, anything doesn't like show doesn't do like sex and stuff assume cap guys i have no problem consuming pornography and paying for it i don't know why you guys think i fucking would uh you know hide my porn consumption and i'm also friends with amaranth i don't know why you would like like i i literally don't understand why you're like cap assumed cap like why would i not fucking tell you
Yes, they are trying to get investments. I think they're they're trying to raise uh, money. And then inevitably, I think they're going to go public eventually. Right? So that probably has something to do with it. Nope, she has dildos. That's explicit. I think this means any penetration or simulated penetration is banned. Okay. <sighs> so... What does this mean for your uh, OnlyFans page? I do not have one. Um, even Oral asking for a friend. Thank you, uh, Perpetually Sag, for the five gifted subs. Eight months of no ads has Pog has Pog. There's a thread on Reddit providing evidence that you are an incel and sexist. Any comment? Yeah. Here, take a week off and think about what a fucking idiotic and pathetic take that was. Let me address a fucking random Reddit thread, dude. I feel like the greatest job in the world is doing content moderation for OnlyFans, by the way. Anyway, that's uh, besides the point. But... Or that um, is hot. There's a couple different reasons for why they uh, likely have to. There's a couple different reasons why they likely have to fucking take uh, efforts like this. That's the Fosta being one. You know what I mean? Uh, so, you know, uh, no platform can like explicitly promote and make uh, sexual content and make money off of sexual content, no matter how rigorous their verification protocols are right so no matter what happens uh no matter what happens it like you know only fans is possibly under investigation what banks flagged only fans owner and his businesses for potential what for potential money laundering and underage activity. What the fuck? What the fuck is forensicnews.net? Banks flagged uh, Leonid Redvinsky's businesses, warning that he may be laundering money and providing platforms to underage and or coerce foreign sex workers. Yeah, this is, this is the I same see. thing that uh, happened to Pornhub as well. Also, Pornhub is not an American company, uh, whereas I believe OnlyFans is. Any sort of company that does sex work or provides a platform for sex work is always, always, always going to, is always going to fucking get uh, clapped Save up by the government workers. and federal authorities in general. And they will always say, they will always say that, uh, OnlyFans is based in London? Okay, well, even then. MindGeek is Canadian? Okay. They will always... Like, any company that does sex work, that engages in sex work, always has the responsibility to stop uh, uh, sex trafficking, uh, sex trafficked uh, victims... Yeah. From doing sex work under coercive, uh, under coercive circumstances. That's one, obviously. Wait, did I fucking run the ad, by the way? I think I did, right? Yeah, I did run the ad. Okay. And then the other, have all seen it and then the other thing is like, like of course, revenge not. porn is another one. And, 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 uh, you know, child uh, porn is another one. So these are the three main categories that are very real problems. Okay. That they're very real problems that persist that, Every fucking platform is aware of, and every platform is regularly trying to tackle. Having said that, though, um, oftentimes, governments will use this as an opportunity to just, like, talk about the very real problems to just ban most of the consensual sex work 
that is happening made by adults who are consenting and want to do the sex work. OnlyFans is perhaps one of the best platforms for uh, sex worker safety and autonomy. Yo. Like, literally. They're, they offer sex workers an opportunity to monetize their content uh, in a way that they really couldn't before. You know what I mean? The new Call of Duty game trailer, COD Vanguard. Check it out. It's on. No, after, after. I don't think that this is going to kill OnlyFans because I don't think that they're actually going to ban pornography on their site. That's what I think. Do you think a lot of startups allow content from sex workers to get off the ground and then sanitize them when they're becoming too ad fr more ad friendly? Yes. We found one of our friends on a revenge porn site and she responded to the thread about her outing Only every single user who she had sent the photos to. Their creators. Coming October After back pages got banned, Only so many fans people went to OnlyFans, especially in the COVID era. It lets sex workers still make a living. Exactly. And it makes it lets sex workers make a living in the safest way possible. Compared to like <clears throat> compared to other sites that are uh prone to leaks, compared to other sites that uh, are not as secure. It's really sad that, uh, it's really sad that they're taking this, uh, they're making this effort. You should check out Carrie Lake in Arizona. Beloved news anchor turned crazy Republican. So OnlyFans banning sexual abuse was kind of a lot of folks were expecting it to happen. And this is going to harm thousands of workers who built OnlyFans success to begin with. Here's why platforms like OnlyFans always do this. OnlyFans wasn't originally pitched for the content it's known for now. It, it was the workers who discovered it, developed new techniques for audience relationships, and built the platform into the powerhouse it is. OnlyFans' role was saying yes to anything that drove clicks. Platforms in hypergrowth are expected to say yes to anything they can possibly get away with. There was no plan for long-term sustainability for these workers who actually built those audiences. OnlyFans knew that regulators were going to come for them eventually. OnlyFans knew that... Nobody in the press would seriously object to throwing vulnerable sex workers and not safe for work content creators under the bus. They expect to take a hit, then use their brand power to pivot to bigger markets. This is the exploitative reality of venture capital. The only way forward is Love for the you. workers who built the platform to own the means of production and of distribution. People are asking if camaraderie can help. Here's our plan. Okay, then it goes into like a uh, like owned and operated uh, uh, sex work uh, website. Did you hear Sean Hannity's My Pillow ad segue the other day? Why would they have to undermine their business model to go public? Because unfortunately, as is the case with uh, all kinds of like, uh, you know, uh, industries that should be decriminalized, but are still considered illegal, especially at the federal level. Sex work, people don't give a fuck. People, everybody loves jerking off. Everybody consumes it like crazy, but absolutely zero people have uh, any concern for the safety and security of those people who are creating that fucking content. It's puritanical. It's bullshit. There are legitimate reasons for okay. why, uh, you know, uh, more regulation is a necessity, like the ones I mentioned, sex trafficking, child pornography, revenge porn, things of that nature, right? But having said that, um, the content creators this have or these sorts, the of, uh, these sorts of actions control. oftentimes are all-encompassing and have nothing to do with uh, just stopping, uh, stopping child pornography or anything like that, which, uh, and, and everything to do with just like, you know, making the brand more uh, brand friendly so they can get investors or so they can like, you know, move on with advertisers, things of that nature. You guy who said.
OnlyFans is now only known for not safe for work stuff, though. They won't be able to diversify unless they literally change the name. Yeah. It's a separate platform that is safe for work and can be sold in the Apple store. For those of you who don't know what revenge porn is, it's when uh, someone does not consent to the distribution of sexually explicit imagery that they may or may not have shared with another individual. Okay? It's like when someone, uh, it's like when you fucking, you know, want to get revenge on your girlfriend so you leak their, uh, you know, leak the porn that you guys shot together or something like that. That's what, and it's very illegal now, luckily, even though the process in which you like do a takedown on a revenge porn is also brutal, dehumanizing, and uh, not 100% effective, so. And there's also stolen images. Hey, Kuming expert here, CEO of Kuming says, I think what will happen is OnlyFans creators will move on to from OnlyFans to Pornhub paid videos for the explicit content, still using Reddit and OnlyFans for marketing. Also, where are all the pro sex work investors? <sighs> we watched the uh, Capital Bombers uh, manifesto video already. You missed it. Um... Since their main source of income is for microtransactions, why would OnlyFans care about ads? Um, I don't know if they do. But what you fail to recognize is when you go to Wall Street and you want to raise money, Sheesh. they will go through your entire fucking uh, revenue streams with a fine-tooth comb, okay? Because Wall Street wants to maximize profit and nothing else. So if you're raising money... With the hope of an, uh, an eventual IPO, an initial public offering. Almost a year. Even if Wait. your company is making a fuckload of money, like literally raking in money, they will still find a way to maximize revenue growth, okay? And they will say, all right, well, uh, outside of the microtransactions, which might take a hit if we, uh, you know, if we add additional if we add additional fucking uh, restrictions onto what kind of content can be placed on the platform and uh, maybe even the user base that might take a hit, we could now ultimately raise, uh, we could one, raise more funds, okay? Pump up the valuation. And two, uh, skirt away from uh, additional government scrutiny. And lastly, maximize our, our revenue by adding ads onto the platform itself. People see this and still wonder why Twitch members save a ton of their revenue. The rug could be pulled out any, any time. Oh, for sure. Why do we always have to be obsessed with growth? Why can't sustainability be a motive? Because that's just how it is. Strong. Damn, that's a lot of on live and subscriptions. That's how it I is, dude. That's how it always sad. has been for companies under a capitalist organization of the economy. It's like, it's never about sustainability and always about fucking growth. Permanent growth. Grow as much as you can. That's why every time I talk to my fucking finance friends, they're like, they're absolutely upset. Like they're, they get incredibly fucking frustrated when they're like, dude, you have so many avenues to diversify your, your revenue streams. Like the fuck are you doing? And that doesn't always work. I mean, this could be a gigantic misstep for OnlyFans if they are to legitimately strike down porn. Uh, they're only allowing a competitor to come in like fucking fanjoy or whatever. Okay. To, to come in and uh, you know, scoop up the market. We all know what happened to Tumblr. Is it fanjoy loyal fans? I don't know. There's like a bunch of other fucking uh, competitors. I'm sure. I have a degree in 
and work in finance and watching you has made me really depressed about my career path. I mean, just know that that's just what you're doing, you know? Do you mind elaborating on how they imagine you could diversify your revenue streams? I mean, dude, there's like so many fucking one-offs. Uh, one immediate thing I should be doing. Uh, let's think. What are, what are some things? Like, first of all, like I should have contracts and, and literally working with advertisers for everything. Like, it is. Thanks for the daycare over the. Last yo 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 yo! Ban that guy. Day. Mods. Did you guys clap him? What the fuck? Not an hour. Uh, permanently. Are you psychotic? You can't fucking dox. You can't dox the fucking uh, bomber, dude. Dude, boards. are you insane? Anyway, we uh, clapped him so quick. No one saw anything. Uh, anyway. As I was saying, oh, uh, diversifying revenue uh, and, and like increasing, increasing uh, revenue streams. Uh, what could I, what could I do? Like fucking create a board game. Okay. Get sponsors for practically every single thing that revolves around the stream. Like I use a Herman Miller chair. Why did you buy that? Get a sponsorship from Herman Miller. Uh, I have a fucking uplift desk. Why did you purchase that? Get a sponsorship for the uplift desk. Uh, I started a fucking podcast. Why aren't you doing, why aren't you pumping ads nonstop? Well, I'm, well, I work with a, with a produce, uh, or a production company. So they are literally constantly up my ass about adding ads and ad reads onto the show, which inevitably we would do. Um, it took me years to finally do like uh, consistent merchandise. And it's still not out yet because I'm working with no one even bought anything on OnlyFans. The site had no value. Yikes. Good riddance. That's a bit funny, dude. You're okay. Happy Futa Andy. Love you. Hassle. Excuse, excuse cow over here. Trying to fucking stun lock me exclusively because he's fucking Mr. Futa. Okay. And, uh, not enough Futa on OnlyFans. So thanks for the content. Double the juice did double the juice did. Your Wall Street friends don't understand lefties watching your wallet. You'd be hurting your main brand prop proposition doing this. Uh, yes and no. Um, what else? Yeah, merchandise, advertisers, sponsored live events, TikTok slash uh, Instagram hits, live reads, all of that. One of the, one of the biggest reasons why like my merchandise, uh, situation has been, has taken as long as it has to like fully build is because I'm working with domestic Thank manufacturers that are union labor only to me, smile. and that limits whatever the fuck you can do. That limits your, that limits how quickly you can fucking release merch that limits every part of that, every aspect of that business. It's the unfortunate reality of the situation. So that's, that's, certainly, so that's certainly that's certainly one of the reasons. But at least for the time being, I don't have to deal with you fucking my mom every day. Happy one year. Hassle. Would you lose fans if you did all those things? No doubt. So would that be a good idea? It doesn't matter because as long as the content is entertaining, if one were to, if one wanted to fucking make uh, as much money and maximize revenue as best as possible, then you absolutely could do it. Stop biting your nails, bro. Dude, I literally have not bit my fucking nails in the past week since I got these gel nails. You're so wrong. Your mods are petty and butthurt. People still watch Misgiven Ludwig despite all the ads? Exactly.
So, as far as the OnlyFans things goes, I don't think they're gonna fucking. Uh, I don't think they're gonna uh, like fully yeet. <sighs> I don't think they're going to fully uh, destroy. Uh, sex work on their platform they probably will greatly and drastically reduce it there is uh, a lot of uncertainty there too there's a lot of uncertainty there i love you uh, for a lot of smaller sex workers you know what i mean what if they're just like what if they what if they just like start you know yeeting smaller sex workers after like they've uh, already and and freeze their assets freeze their funds after they've already made money off of that. So. I think this actually hurts their brand though. Like even coming out like this. It might be good. Like they're doing something about uh, the, the sexually explicit content on their platform. It might be good from the point of view of. You know, investors that uh wanted them to take this effort make this effort Please but it's terrible from a consumer uh, standpoint today's a pretty shitty shitty day to be a post 9 11 vet like this video please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos <laughs>